hello youtube welcome to a brand new video my name is abuze on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to simply enhance your outdoor portrait using a simple technique of manipulation so without any further ado let's jump into the video all right looking at this image uh as you can see it was an outdoor that i shot in a broad daylight so the image is not like kind of looking uh the way i really want it to look so uh to fix this image first let's duplicate the image so that we can keep track on our original image so i press command j and duplicate the image so you can press command or control j to duplicate and then the first thing we are going to do is we are going to get rid of this my soft box so we are going to make sele uh, make selection of it here as you can see and then we do content aware to the image all right after you do the content aware let's press command or control d to deselect and then here again we can see the stand of our light and then you can also do content aware to it all right and then we do command or control d to deselect and then we kind of clean this stuff that we are seeing so let's try and make the image as clean as possible as you can see we also do content aware all right let's zoom out and then we press command or control d to the select all right after that the next thing we are going to do is we are going to select our subject by coming over here all right before we do that let's also duplicate one more time by pressing command or control j and then we come to our select here and then we go for select subject all right after photoshop made its selection if there is anything you should fix you take your time and fix as you can see she's wearing slippers so we are going to include the leg as well so there is no need to take extra care because we are not going to change the background entirely uh we are not uh, going to change the background so we don't need that perfect selection on the image as far as it's not bad we can make use of it as you can see so let's just try and include the earring fully so let's zoom out as you can see the selection is not that perfect but it's not something we should worry about so let's zoom out and then we add layer mask to the image so now here we add layer mask it uh, it is only uh, holding our subject which means we uh, we uh, uh, we separate our subject from the background so after we do that let's bring back this layers so let's uh, select our subject one more time all right after we select our subject uh making sure we are selecting the middle layer uh the layer in the middle here so let's also fix this selection by including this our forehead is necessary sorry i need to select the add option here and then we incorporate this area and then we zoom out and then we go to select modify and then we expand all right here we can keep the radius between 10 to 15 so let's keep it on 12 and then we hit enter so as you can see we slightly expand the selection so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to also right click uh do content aware and then we hit ok Right here we are and then we press command or control d to deselect so if we disable the upper layer as you can see the layer in the middle is now uh representing our background so we can rename the layer in the middle as background and then we can rename the layer above as sorry we can rename it as our subject all right all right the next thing we are going to do is we are going to increase the level of blurry on our background so we are going to 
uh, disable our subject layer and then we select our background layer then we go to filter blur gallery and then we select tilt shift all right then uh, we are going to take it down as you can see and then we can increase the level of the blurry let's shift it up a little Alright, I think this is okay. Let's increase it a little, just a little. Ah, this is too much. Alright, let's keep it at 67 and then we hit OK. Alright, here we are. Let's bring back our subject layer above. So if we uncheck the layer in between, as you can see, the level of the blurry on the background has really really increased like we kind of separate our subject from the background even more so the next thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to check our overlays and see what we can add to the image so let's check my store um, uh, let's check on uh, Let's check here and see what we got. I think it's better if we add this small form. Let's see if we have something better. Alright, I think we can work with this. Let's shift it by the side for now and then we hit enter. The reason why I add the pink because she, she's having like pink head title we can change it, it to any color we want so uh, let's just be realistic and use the exact colors we are having so let's shift the yellow as well because we are having some yellows on her cloth and then on the uh, on the grass be, uh, behind her so let's open our photoshop full bag as you can see but I think it's better if we rotate the yellow smoke by going to edit, edit, transform, and then we flip it horizontal. And then we shift it by this side a little. So we are going to keep the smoke so that it will look like uh, the smoke is coming behind her. Let's rotate it a little. I think this is okay and then we hit enter and then uh, and then going back to the pink let's also fix it let's rotate it as well a little and then we hit enter all right let's zoom out a little i think this is okay for me Alright, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to uh, find something that will cover this has slippers, this imperfection. So I think let's see what we have on the plants folder. Where is it? Alright, realistic tropical leaves. Alright, let's see what we have here. here to cover the legs all right i think we can make use of this let's try it and see sometimes you can't tell if something will work or not so you just have to give it a try if it worked then fine if it didn't then you have other options to walk around with them with you. then you try the other options so let's shift it to the front so that it will be in front of our subject and then we shift it down a little i think we need to scale it up as you can see so let's 
now i don't think this will work for us let's delete it just like i have told you not necessary something will work as you are thinking of so you just have to give everything a try if it did work good for you if it didn't then you try your other options so instead i think we can make use of this all right we can just scale it up and then we'll push it down let's rotate it a little and then we we'll push it down so that you cover the legs as you wanted it to all right i think this is okay then we hit enter all right so to have some uh foreground blurry let's add some level of blurry to the uh leaf here to the plant here on your uh, in front of our subject by going to filter we go to blow and then we select go shampoo it's not bad all right let's work with the 19 or let's increase it and see all right i think we can keep it somewhere 25 and then we hit ok all right and then uh i think let's shift the yellow smoke here behind her i think we should retouch it even more and then we hit enter all right something that i always want with my image is my subject to be a little more brighter than the background i mean the background should be a little darker so let's go to the background and then we go to adjustment option and then we select curves and then we select this option so that we clip the adjustment so that it affect only the background and then we pull it down a little so you can see don't need to go extra too much i think this is okay let's do before after before and after and then uh looking at the leaf here is kind of a little too bright as well so we should create like a uh, light follow so that the upper uh, side of the plant should be brighter than the lower part so let's go to adjustment ocean as well and then we select our curves and then we clip it to the plant here and then we drag it down all right i think this is okay so to bright up the upper part all you need to do is to make sure we are selecting the white layer mask and then we select our normal brush and then we toggle to white foreground and then we increase our brush size and then we slightly brush it sorry we toggle to the foreground so we are going to hide we are supposed to keep it on black foreground and then we brush it slightly on top of the of the plant as you can see so let's do before and after i think this look more realistic to me so uh let's check our image from where we start to where we are now let's do before after before and after as you can see even like this we have changed we have made a serious change uh on our image i think uh what we should do now is to like kind of try and add some add maybe a lot and see how it will look so let's try my outdoor premium outdoor lots and see how they will affect the image so let's go just go to adjustment option here and then we select color lookup and then we navigate to where we keep our outdoor premium lot. as you can see we are already there and then let's try on the first look up and see how it will go wow this is so nice this is absolutely beautiful let's do before after before and after don't forget if it is too much you can always play with your opacity and reduce the intensity as you can see before before uh that's 100 percent opacity and then after at 62 percent this is super amazing let's take it back to 100 so that we can see 
how it will look on the rest of the loss. Always try every option you have. Don't just stick to the first option. You are not knowing maybe the option, the best option is uh, is the second or the last option that you are having. So let's do it before and after. Even the second lot is is nice. Let's also skip to the last one or maybe to the edge one. Let's not waste time. As you can see, before, after, these are so beautiful. I think let's keep the first lot is absolutely good for my liking before after before and after so let's check the overall of what we have done let's check our image uh, comparing uh, uh, between where we are now and then with the original image before we start doing anything so let's check before after before and after that's it simple and nice that's it for today's video if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like share and leave a thumbs up as it makes a huge difference in supporting the channel let's see in another video